K-I-L-R Killer Games We've returned yeah. and now we're going into some serious gaming here of not too long ago depending upon when you decided to watch this video but I'm Killer Gamer and she is Nerd Gamer 2K and we're getting into a mass effect with uh, this series and yes how many times is this game going to own us because <laughs> there is a lot of ownage in this game uh, you can't really get through it perfectly nope I'm someone might be able to but I know I can't anyways save the earth and as a matter of fact that's exactly what nerd gamer at 2k and I are going to do we're going to save the worth the worth the, the earth <laughs> because it's worth it yeah maybe it's not worth it but anyway um, you get the pleasure of seeing two different games with this series but anyway this is a sci-fi action third-person shooter developed by BioWare and released in 2007 for the Xbox 360. PC version came out a year later and the PlayStation 3 version didn't uh, become available until 2012 with the Mass Effect trilogy which uh, shame on EA they didn't release any of the DLC content along with it either. Jerks. Uh, anyway there are two sequels well obviously this is a trilogy so there's a two and a three. Um, there are two downloadable content stories to, that go along with Mass Effect, that being Bring Down the Sky and Pinnacle Station. And this game uses a conversation system where you choose from several responses which can make the game different each time you play. There is, uh, for example, pure good versus pure evil um, and stuff in between the two. And this was also used in Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, and also in Jade Empire. And so that's why you're going to see two different types of games in this series. One is going to be with Nerd Gamer 2K, and the other is going to be with moi, Killer Gamer. So you're going to see Mass Effect in two different styles. So let's get cracking and saving that Earth, if it's even possible. BioWare. Mm -hmm. Nice, silver, shiny lettering. And music. And in the shadows, it's... EA. Mm. Scary. Demi, Demi, Demiurge. All right, so here we are, Mass Effect. Very, very popular, popular game. And we're going to jump into this. On the Earth. Alright, you're going to start a new career. Yay! Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. I love this music. The music's just cool. Establishing secure secure connection. secure connection confirmed. Okay, so here um, you can actually pick uh, male or female. So what you're going to want to do is go to enter new ID. All right, so there you go. There's quick start female, and also go with custom, I guess. Okay. Please log in to access your profile. Um. Last name is always going to be Shepard. Okay. Because that's the character. So you can choose any type of first name. Whoop. Gainer. Spell it right. Where's your M? It's the one that doesn't have a letter on it. Why? Because <laughs> apparently the M gets used a lot, so it faded away. Okay. That's my first name.
Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm. All right, so as a, this is your history. So this, this determines your story. As a spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military and your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from post to post. Never staying in one location for than a few years. Um, so you enlisted at the age of 18. So colonist, you were born and raised on Mendor, a small border colony uh, in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided the place, slaughtering your family and your friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and then you went to the military a few, few years later. <laughs> Then Earthborn, obviously, you were raised on Earth, but you were an orphan. Um, you escaped the life of pretty, petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military. So, which one of those three do you want to go with? I like this one. Confirm psychological sounds good. Profile. Okay, so this is your psychological part. So, soul survivor means during your service, there's a mission that you're on that everything went wrong. Um, you were trapped in an extremely survival situation that you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. And you survived, and now you alone are to tell the tale. Now, War Hero, um, you face overwhelming odds and forces and risk your own life to save your, save your soldiers and defeat enemy. So, it's pretty self-explanatory and then ruthless you have held fast to one basic rule get the job done you've been called cold calculating and brutal your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you but when failure is not an option the military always goes always goes to you first <laughs> hmm. I like that one. Confirm military ah, specialization. Okay. So now, pretty much a soldier is, you know, soldier on the front line. Engineer. Engineers are tech specialists. They use uh, holographic omni tools, which you can see on her hand there. They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Adept. That's, I, these are kind of cool. They are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. They can only use light armor and can only receive weapons training with pistols. Infiltrator. They are a combination of combat and tech abilities, specializing in killing or disabling enemies at long range. They can use pistols sniper rifles. Sentinel. This is a com combination of biotic and tech abilities. That basically. And then Vanguard. Vanguard's a biotic warrior, so basically your uh, combination of uh, adept and soldier. So these are like the basic, then they have the combinations. Yeah. So, right. so the first three are your separate ones, and then the other three are, co are combos. So you can specialize in one of three, or you can kind of have a mix. Hmm. Confirm facial identification. Okay, so here you can change your face. You can go with what there is, or you can change it. Oh, you can go through. Preset. What is that? Oh, like regular stuff? Yeah, this, this will like go through different presets here. Hmm, hair color. It goes dark. Hey, blonde, red. <laughs> you can change the hair around.
This is weird. Well, gotta click it. It's just like making a sim. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> Maybe not really. It's iris. The uh, eye. On the eye. Can't really see it anyway. <laughs> you can see it a little bit. It's funny how they make a, a an issue out of iris color. You're very ever gonna see that. True. But it's kinda cool. bit of blush and a little bit of lip color. Whoa. It's like I like that one. <laughs> totally goth person. I'll make a goth person. That works. She looks gothic, but she's actually really nice. Are you going for the, the good choices or the bad choices? I'm going for bad. You're going for bad? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm going to change your hair color to black. Whoops. See, I thought you might have done other choices to, to, to do the, the bad, but that's kind of interesting. This will be an interesting character. Profile reconstruction. She kind of looks... <laughs> <laughs> Evil. Yes, yes. Identification. All right, so auto save is on. Subtitles, no. All right, combat. Uh, you know, I don't know. You could do normal or casual. Let's see, casual. Squad only. Should I have it that one? Um, I don't know. Actually, I guess I would keep it. Maybe uh. Because you can level yourself up, it just doesn't... That gives you more control, I guess. Hmm. Should I have subtitles? Only if you want to read it. Nah. Okay. That looks like a gun. It does look like a gun. It's actually something else, and you'll see what that is. Oh. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Kind of cool how yeah, you heard your uh, history and stuff being in there. Yeah. Mysterious artifacts were found. Mars. I like the music. Yeah, the soundtrack to this is just awesome. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Station secure for transit. This has got me intrigued. I actually want to see what happened. Man, she looks mean. Jeez. Board is green. Approach run has begun. She looks evil.
that's Mass Effect. Thrusters, check. Navigation, kind of like a Stargate check. type thing. Internal hmm. emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway nice. across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot this believes is where you the get official the story. <laughs> Usually the top ones are good, and the bottom ones are, like, mean. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. We don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only one talking <laughs> to you, Joe. Yay! Awesome. Okay, so. Yeah, your W D keys are. Your mouse will turn you around. So many people. Nah, I already know that. In case you're wondering, this is the PC version. We're not playing PlayStation 3, Xbox, or anything like that. Nah, that'd be cool. It'd be a little bit more challenging to record, but... These stations. I wonder what they're doing. Working, I guess. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Hmm. Do you have a problem with the Captain? <laughs> no, man. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do nothing <laughs> mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, yeah. Commander. Uh, there's a while there. <laughs> Whack. Why are you saluting me? Because you're a captain. Oh, didn't know that. No, I'm sorry, you're a commander, not a captain. Hey, no sitting on my wall like that. What do you think, commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a spectrum. <laughs> <on> Goodbye. <laughs> Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the no. brass what I can do. 
This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Where's the captain? You just keep going. But I thought I was the captain. No, no, you're the commander. Oh. Is that the captain? Um, I think so. Let's find out. Oh. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. <laughs> Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! Someone's getting close. <laughs> Glad it's not us. Not yet. I think I think he was gonna say help. Something's going on. That oh jeez, it's a flying octopus.
everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. <sighs> Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Hand or something. Small strike team to move quickly something. without drawing attention. Oh, yeah. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Aging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Silas, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrums, and he wants that beat. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. It's so sandy. All right, it's time to find out exactly what my story is going to be. Yep. All right, so resume is Nerd Gamers. We're going to start a new career for myself. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. That's good. Be kind of scary if uh, if it wasn't. All right, new ID, custom. Please log in to access your profile. Let's call him Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Killer Shepherd. Killer Shepherd. Sending the information, decrypting, verifying username, user data. Oh no, oh, data, data corruption. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Oh, okay. Confirm pre-service history. Was I born on Earth? Hmm. Maybe Earth? Maybe. Orphaned on the streets of Megatropolis is covering the Earth. I escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs. That could be an interesting thing where I'm I have a tendency to make bad choices, but I'm trying to do good. Yeah. That could Confirm be interesting. Psychological profile. Let's see, I could be a soul survival. I could be ruthless. Hmm. I could be ruthless. <laughs> Just mainly because it used to be bad. What do you think? Yeah. Confirm military specialization. I forgot what I chose the last time. You did, um... I think you did this one. Yeah, oh yeah, I did. Alright, so let's see here. I could do half... Depths are biotic specialist, so we can use biotic powers to optics, or I could just be a soldier. Just be a glowing guy. Hmm. Confirm facial identification. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, there 
there's like a kind of old looking. Some of these people look familiar. Oh, do they? I don't yeah. even know who they are. <laughs> they look like real people. I, I dig the scar there. Alright, facial structure. Eh, we'll go for a thin face. Skin tone. Eh, let's make him a little white there. Complexion. Ooh. <laughs> it looks... Terrible. Looks a bit uh, beaten up there. Scars. Eh, he's got scars all over the place, but I like... Ooh, look at the one over his mouth. Jeez. Ooh, that one's even deadlier right there. There's one around the face there, and there's one right there. What do you think about that one? Yeah. Or that one. I don't know. I like the one across the mouth. Yeah, that looks nasty. Whoops. Let's see here. Hey! I'm trying to go down here. There we go. Jeez. Head. Let's see. Neck. Ah, let's stand on the neck. <laughs> I don't like thick necks. Face side. Looks like a frog. <laughs> kind of. Cheeks. Now. <laughs> oh. Cheekbones. Cheek gaunt. Yeah. Ears. Not much different there. Not really. Eyes. Oh, ears, sorry. <laughs> fan out or they can go back. Let's fan him out. Like Dumbo. <laughs> well, he's he's had a hard life. Eyes. Well, we can shape his eyes. <laughs> oh. Kind of give him a Whoa! Type of look. That looks kind of weird. It is kind of weird. And we can kind of... <laughs> make his eyes way up here. <laughs> no, that looks kind of weird. Well, that's the point. Okay. Yeah, let's let's make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. <laughs> he's Perfect. Look, he's looking great now. <laughs> his eyes Eye sticking out. There we go. Brows. Hey. He looks angry. Make him angry. Yeah, we'll make him angry. Brow height. <laughs> there we go. Iris. Isn't there like a black color or something? Yeah. Maybe this is where we can make it a little different. Uh, Ooh, what about white? And you can be blind. That'd be kind of cool. There was white. I saw white. Did you? Yeah. White. It's closer to the left. Maybe that's kind Not of that. There was a whiter one. Like that one. Okay. Let's see. Jaw. Chin. I'll give him a chin. Chin death. <laughs> oh, can't turn him around. Chin. Yeah, this isn't Sims. No. <laughs> Let's see. Mouth. Mouth shape. Mmm. <laughs> there we go. Mouth death. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's see. Mouth width. <laughs> Pucker up. Mouth, lip size. There we go. <laughs> Man, he's ugly. <laughs> Mouth height. <laughs> That's great. I love this. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> Nose. Nose shape. Oh. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And he's not... See, if he picks bad choices, it's... Don't blame him. He's had a rough life, as you can see. Yeah. 
you know, he's had his, he's been beaten up a few times. Beard. <laughs> Whoa, there was like. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. One. That's kind of cool. I don't like the, he hasn't shaved or anything. Let's see. That looks cool. That's kind of cool on the side. What do you think? Should we go with that one or? I saw a shorter one. Yeah, I like that one. Hmm, I don't know. I guess we could do that. That See, me personally, I would go for something like this or the goatee, but hey, it's not me. It's someone else, so. That big, thick thing. Or no eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, we could do no eyebrows. That works. Let's see. <laughs> kind of like that. Kind of like the bald hair, too. Yeah, we'll do that, that one. That makes him look German. German? He just looks very military. Yeah, because Ger most Germans are in the military. No, most Germans are not in the military. I like the blonde hair. It looks like it's bleach blonde. <laughs> Alright, now we can change his facial hair. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Have it match his hair, what do you think? Uh, okay. He's like, all right. So we should change this. See if we can do that now. That looks kind of weird. Ugh. That's that's terrible. It's like he drank milk or something. We do really something really weird, and he's got this reddish hair. What do you think about that? Yeah. All right. So he's hiding his real color of his hair because the blonde's not his real color. Um, okay. I think we got him. This is Killer Shepard. Profile reconstruction complete. Ruthless. Adept. Let's confirm. Identification confirmed. Alright, let's do normal. Um, auto level up squad only. Yep. Target assist. Normal. Change these letter later. Letter. Oh, yeah, something like that. Subtitles, no. Auto save, yes. Mm. All right, sounds good. Let's get going here. Let's see what they say about my version. Well. What about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. <laughs> I'll make the call. You can see his ugliness. I, <laughs> his <laughs> eyes are like sticking out. Man. 2148. The greatest discovery in human history was this butt ugly <laughs> guy. And we called him the killer shepherd of Mass Effect. Oh, my eye. Your eye? Yeah, I got an eyelash in my eye. Oh. That always sucks. Yeah. Flying by Jupiter. Huh? They are Terra's prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? <laughs> Commander, you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> we are connected. Calculating I don't even want to look at you. <laughs> That's how ugly you are. Holy mackerel, oh. he's nasty looking. <laughs> oh man. People are gonna think that he's like mean, he's actually 
He's actually not too bad of a guy. He looks mean. Jeez. <laughs> He's had a hard life. Without protection. Thrusters? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Check. Internal emission sink. Blah, 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 blah. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. You haven't met Shepard so yet. <laughs> You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us <laughs> across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. The mass Everything relay looks solid. Good. of Mass Effect. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. <laughs> 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 All right, press zero to access the Codex, which is your galactic encyclopedia. All right, let's press. Oh, oh, that was zero. Oh. Okay, so if we press O, we've got player tutorials here. So there's basic controls. Um, we'll want to look these over here. So forward, uh, back up, interact with an object. Um, is E, take cover from behind an object. Is uh, W, push up against it. So those are those moves. And then combat, is Q is your, um, it's like, here's your movement key. So Q up here is the uh, drawing your weapon. Left click or left mouse button to fire yeah. your weapon. Um, press your right mouse button to toggle in and out of targeting mode. Let's see, F is first aid. Let's see, we have a whole bunch, my goodness, I don't think we're gonna go through all that stuff. No. Um, whoops, what else we got? Okay, so there's personal history summary. So here's our profile. We kind of already know how this works here, but it's interesting to read. Uh, let's see, Humanity and Systems Alliance. Oh, okay, that's just a timeline. I don't know what all this stuff is, primary, secondary. To access tutorials, click the secondary tab, then the plus sign. Okay, well, what's primary? I guess we can't find out, I don't know. Oh, gotcha. Oh, here we go. Alien Council. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians These... were invited to join the Citadel Council the to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians peacekeepers. have a fleet in Citadel space, <laughs> and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory Don't worry, that's not a, a, a rip-off of Farscape. The Turians have come to rely on the Solarians Peacekeeper for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Term. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy of the Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing mm. the interests of humanity as a whole. All right, the so alliance part is of some responsible type of alliance, for the governance then. and defense of whatever. All right, let's get moving here. Let's see, I can use the arrows. Whoops. Okay, apparently my arrows do something else. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go. Can I talk to anyone here? Oh, I can talk to him. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Don't oh, shoot, him. shoot him. <laughs> Let me shoot ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't shoot him. <laughs> so. The captain's waiting for you.
for you in the com room, Commander. Oh, you didn't notice that I shot you? <laughs> Apparently not. Or a shot at you? Let's see what he has to say. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. What if I just and I just want to go after you and shoot you? Because I'm a nice guy. I either, even though I'm ugly looking. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marked file like he was on a mission. To talk to an ally, go up to him and press E. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. It didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. I want one of those on my car. Why are we full yeah. staffed? Or better, yep. My bike. Be That'd be cheap. cool. <laughs> that way I don't have to worry about cops <laughs> pulling me over because pretty obvious the shakedown run is just a cover. They're acting stupid. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> a cover. Huh. He can be ignorant. <laughs> a full crew makes sense. We need the extra hands in case anything goes wrong. And the Spectre is just here as an observer. Well, maybe you're right, Commander, but I just can't shake this feeling that we're out here on false pretenses. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, sir. But I can't figure if out... If I what did, I'm not telling you. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers decorated. in the service. If he melted down all his medals, yeah, decorated meaning he's got a lot of awards. You don't send a soldier who's like decorated that with awards, nothing. basically. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. The said plus he's a pirate. <laughs> Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Alright. That way. I'll walk this way. Do a little something different here. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. I'm just listening to them. Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. <laughs> what do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. I think he needs to be patched up. He's looking kind of ugly today. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor's right. Part of the job. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up when we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Hmm, you'll do fine or just another mission? Eh, he doesn't care. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. 
Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They, sound like they usually ghosts. work alone. Kind of, yeah. Groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. There are no human spectres. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't but happened. But he's so ugly, hey, he's command, barely called human. I don't know. <laughs> you did on Torfin. That's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. Sounds like my kind of job. This is all just wild speculation. <laughs> The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. <laughs> You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. Maybe There's we're just gotta checking be up something on them. else going on. <laughs> yeah, probably. A on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Look at those. <sighs> the captain's waiting for me. <sighs> Goodbye, Commander. <sighs> Can we keep talking? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? No. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, <laughs> <laughs> Commander. Sir. 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 Let's go around this way. Whee! Can I talk to you? Ah, uh, you're just gonna salute me. Out of respect, even though you're ugly! Look at the pretty picture over there. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a Marine, not some tourist on vacation. <laughs> it's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. 
We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Hmm, why did we tell the Council? I like this one. We don't need your help. <laughs> <laughs> we can handle this on our own. Unless something goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. <laughs> Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. I like how you can select your... Bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. Yeah. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. <clears throat> Uh -oh. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Be interesting. This actually was different, but it's actually part of the story. Mm. Get down! Blah. Here comes the claw from 
outer space. Lightning and everything else. And static. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. There's the claw. Of death. Of death. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. <laughs> Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. All right. So down we go. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Killer Shepard. Your team's the muscle in the <clears throat> operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Who did you do? Can we trust him? Yeah, I did that one. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Alright, so here we are, looking at the sun and everything else, so... Wow. Two different stories, kind of going along the same lines, but... This place got hit hard, Commander. Slightly different. Yep. Kind of interesting. Alright, well I can't wait till we get to the uh, next installment of this to see where both of our stories go. So, uh, we'll wrap things up here, and we'll see you on the next installment yeah. of Mass Effect Own. Oh.